What's happening, guys? It's Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar, uh, Action Food Truck in Kent, Washington, with another day in the life of a food truck owner. Uh, today is a double downtown service. So going into the city always presents some extra challenges, but uh, it's worth it because, you know, that's where the money's at sometimes. So the service was a mixture of... Um, a food truck pot event that we pay for um, and a pop-up event that we just unplanned, unscheduled, and just rolled up to a spot. We thought there'd be people and open up the windows, a little gorilla food trucking too. So uh, this was a, it's like this sometimes. Usually uh, we were chasing a, sales goal. It was the end of the month and we needed about 1500 to hit our sales goal, which seemed to be going to work out perfect because the event that we were doing typically is about a $1,500 average for us. Um, they, downtown Seattle brings a bunch of food trucks uh, together and it sets it up in this beautiful park downtown and it's, it's, it's set up for success. So we we're excited about it. Um, but being 1500 short, of our sales goal, we really needed it to pop. And uh, the mayor scheduled an impromptu uh, pop-up political event down there the night before. And so then that screwed up our start time, which uh, then screwed up our f start of the event. We lost that on the first hour and a half. And so instead of it being a $1,500 event, it was more like a $700 event. And uh, we wanted to hit that goal for the month. So we were like, we're already down here, traffic's bad. So let's just go pop up at another spot. So uh, it was dope. And I guess that would kind of lead to what I would say my pro tip is uh, for this video. And that is be aggressive towards your goals as an operator. Um, you're definitely not gonna hit them by uh, sitting back. <laughs> It's just not going to happen. You're going to have to get out there and do some work towards it. And sometimes it might require doing some gorilla food trucking, pulling up in an event at a place you've never been before, maybe not without permission. You know, uh, we're permitted. Uh, we're licensed in the city and the county. Uh, we are always have a standard of professionalism. So, you know, we're a food ser service establishment and there's always, we're always going to do that right. But yeah, you know, <laughs> if I got, if I need $500 to hit a goal for the month and, and I have some hours in the day, how about you want to hit the goal, you know? So that's my pro tip, man, is, is be aggressive, be e aggressive, you know, because uh, that definitely plays in this game. And, you know, the moral of the story is we did hit our sales goal for the month, which is great for the whole team because we all bonus and um, we all uh, were able to really have a successful month building the brand. And, you know, that's what we're trying to do. Months put together, months and months of consecutive growth in the brand. So anyways, downtown double service. Westlake and Magnuson Park in Seattle. Hope you all enjoy. We'll see you on the next one. today with a food truck event downtown Seattle for the Westlake Rodeo so early end time early start time you can see I didn't do much with this just throw a hat on it in the hood call it a day not enough hours in the day to do everything I wanted to get done since uh, I got home about 
four hours ago. Four and a half hours ago. Yeah, there wasn't much time to sleep and uh, fix my face, so we just keep it pushing. Um, girls should be up there at the bar in about two hours. Jamar will be up there in about an hour. We'll start load out in about two hours so that we can um, get down, downtown with time to spare. Got a late message from the organizer of the food truck event downtown. Apparently the mayor of Seattle is gonna be giving a speech today right at the location we're gonna be live and um, it will affect our loadout time. So usually they give you a window of time that you have to get your truck there and load in and get ready before you open. They usually give you about a 45 minute to an hour window. Well, the mayor's speech is during right during the middle of that window. So they're saying you can either get there half an hour before the regular load in time, or you're going to have to try to get there half an hour after the load in time. Seems like it's not a big deal, but it's kind of a huge deal when you consider how long it takes to actually set up everything and get the windows open. So if we were to show up a half an hour after it's done, we would basically lose the first hour of sales at a busy event and anybody who's been on the trucks know that first hour sales can be like can be huge. So it kind of puts us in a shitty spot. We're going to try to get there early so that we can be there before the speech starts and we can be set up and ready to go. Um, but again, with only like five hours notice, it is, uh, it's kind of, a pain in the ass. So I want to go ahead and hop off of this and get to work and get started so we can try to make the very best out of the day. Uh, we were able to get staff to cover tonight's shift. Um, since, uh, you know, I let three people go in the last two days, uh, we now have a whole um, in our closing shifts tonight. So rather than me having to close again, thank God that uh, one of our bartenders have stepped up and is going to put in the extra hours and pick up tonight's shift. I am going to get on hiring some new people as fast as humanly possible so we can get them in here and trained and uh, acclimated to how we do things. So I will see you all back at the bar. I'm going to get after it. I all right, we're at it again. Um, at the bar, rocking and rolling. Already into our uh, start of our load in at uh, for the food truck. Hit downtown. Uh, Jamar got here early, which is great because we're going to need every minute we can get this morning. We are going to do it a little different than we normally do because we want to make sure we're there before the mayor starts his speech and that we're not losing that first hour of sales. We're going to just load up cold um, with the exception of a few items we're going to bring up to temperature. Uh, and uh, all of the proteins that we have to get up to temp to transport uh, will heat and then sides we will um, basically cook there uh, and get up to temperature there a little different but uh, you got to stay flexible and it is a mobile kitchen and it's huge and uh, she has the capability so we're gonna do it like that today um, just gonna it's payroll today at the bar and food truck um, so I need to get that done before I take out of here um, to make sure that I can get everybody's check written. <clears throat> when I get back this afternoon at about three, um, this is our last paying event for the month. So our last chance to hit a sales goal is today. Um, we've got one more event on Friday 
to finish out the month, but um, it's a donated service, so it's not going to help our sales numbers. So, hoping for a busy day, prepping for a busy day, and we'll leave early to make sure that we get that busy day uh, instead of waiting on the politicians and uh, then being behind. Although, um, I'm a fan of the new mayor of Seattle, so uh, maybe get a chance to hear a little of his speech. Being the politics nerd that I am. <coughs> voice is a little shot. I'm sure it will come back here shortly. Um, yeah. I'll get that going <clears throat> and get out the door here before that ridiculous Seattle traffic gets too bad. Already coming from Kent, which is only like 17 miles away, maybe 15 to 17 miles away from downtown Seattle. It's an hour drive. <laughs> at this time of day so um, that Seattle traffic is some real bullshit even driving in the carpool lane with my co-pilot it's still uh, we're still looking at an hour so we need to be out of here really we need to be out of here at a quarter to nine uh, just to make sure that we can start that load in early alright so we're downtown Westlake Took us forever to get down here. Traffic was shit today. Uh, the mayor, I don't know if you can tell, behind us we got the mayor and all the politicians putting together a little thing over here in Westlake, which normally would be dope. It would help us out, but it's kind of screwing us over right now because uh, <laughs> his rally is happening right where we would normally shut up. So right now they got us tucked in the corner with a couple of the other trucks, but we don't want to stay here because this is a shitty place to sell when you're down here. So we're going to do a little bit of waiting for the mayor to do his thing, and then hopefully we'll be able to bop over to the other side and sell some things. But uh, let me give you guys a little shot of what we got going on here. Right here at Westlake Park, in the heart of downtown, there must be a place where, again, we can come together and share experiences together. Our downtown activation plan, quite candidly, is real stuff, real energy. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, just so you know, we've met with the press before to go a little deeper, a little granular, but our plan is on downtownisu.com. Downtownisu.com. Check it out, and quite frankly, these ideas that we're generating, these ideas that you will see, they come from you as well. They come from civically, the philanthropic residents, advocates, here I say activists. We listen to everybody. So next I want to hear, I want to, I want you to hear from Markham McIntyre, our director of Austin Economic Development, because Markham's team, they're very, very smart, number one, but they're, number two, they're very committed and they listen. And so I sort of gave you some highlights of what we're trying to do, but I want to introduce Markham McIntyre. Now I got a 401, come here, Markham. He's not. <laughs> Mark is not used to talking over this kind of stuff, so let's, let's feel him out. His legs look pretty strong. He's athletic. I worked out with this guy. I can't keep up with him. Mark him back time. Thank you, Mayor. And thanks, Mayor, for being so bullish on downtown and making this a priority. Uh, I'm Mark McIntyre. I'm the director of the Office of Economic Development here at the City of Seattle. And we're accessible for new entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs, for women entrepreneurs, and help the future of Seattle. So a uh, political rally pushes everybody else to the corners. <laughs> you see we back here. One of the other trucks is back here. Saw another truck circling the parking lot, trying to see what's going on. We ain't staying back in the shade. We pushed everybody back here. Got the musician in the corner. She's supposed to be up on stage. We supposed to be right there next to the stage selling. But uh, we're gonna get everything hot on the truck, do everything but get the fryer oil going so that it's easy for us to pick up and move if all these damn politicians and activists get up out the way we can get to our normal spot where we plan on selling big girls ready to go shining looking pretty so we want to get out there and sell all this good stuff we got mars on the inside getting it ready the girls are on their way down from kent of course we make friends with all the ambassadors down here so uh they can all be very helpful to us getting in and out of these spots. Say what up, Mar. 
What's happening? What's going on? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we at it. All right, y'all. We'll see you during service. Thanks to the mayor's press conference today and his little rally downtown. We lost an hour and a half of service time, but we made the most out of it. Came on down here to Westlake, made as much money as we can make in this sucker. I got love for the mayor too, by the way. Not hating on you, mayor. Good work, but you know, could have maybe done it on another day. It wasn't food truck Wednesday, my guy. Food truck, baby. Well, we finished up service down at Westlake today. Since we were already this far north, we had to come see Bib, drop off some treats. Mama Tate's treats. Since we're shit in the U district, there's no reason to try to fight traffic. Going home at four o'clock. From Seattle, from the U District, that'll probably take us about an hour and a half. So we were like, nah. Yeah. Way up north past Seattle, U District area. Not going over to U Dub, no, 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 no. We're out here at Magnuson Park. Right here on the water. Figure we might as well make it an impromptu dinner service for these folks. 